rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts of the world, Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. We have chosen for the start. It's chosen all I have left. to relocate to one of our finest remaining All right, I'm moving. Centers. Jeez. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Were you the only ones on that train? Overwatch stopped our train Welcome. in the woods and took my Welcome husband for to questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. Chosen, or I'm not chosen sure when that was. Did their their being nice though let me wait for him? I thought so much of City 17 that I Stop elected that. to establish my administration here in the Citadel, so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home, and so. Whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe right here. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Wait a minute. Welcome. Where are you taking Welcome me? to City 17. 
Have you have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, to City 17, it's safer here. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Thank you for writing. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological with all its associated things with the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken Underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far reaching implications. It requires radical thinking, revision, or genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural creases. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and 
kept us safe in those hearts traveling years where we need to be lost. Those flames of the new fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the caverns below. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And when the point of peace, it will not go down. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates a total oppressor and makes us fight. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than a threat. Instinct smiley and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be exposed. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this force. We have held this progress. We have turned our backs toward the stars. Let me assure you of the secrecy. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.
Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. Oh, instinct. I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? Let's think of something. When is it all going to end? Oh, don't worry. Please. It's all right. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Turn it full ration hey, to the wall. In here! Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Attention. All citizens in local residential blocks will be your inspection position. Get in here, quick! Keep moving! Head for the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. I'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. 
Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar! There you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah. Longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from Combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold-up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold, Gilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon. Would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let 
Did Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? This is your head humper. Get head humper! Car, steady, go down! There he is! It's Lamar with his head about that thing! He's coming through, Dad. What's going on, Judith? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of thing. Gordon, stay put. We'll get you out of there. Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, he's back. I'm getting him out of there. Can't just wait in the field, and we'll peel you apart! Shut up, Lost Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. Oops. There he is! Oh, we're losing it again. The man. I'm all but certain it was... Gordon Freeman. Shut it down! You must get out! 